Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Here's a real fun topic for you. I wonder if anybody's familiar with the sewer system. And I just left a comment on Reverend Mary's video for today. And um, it has to do with our toiletry needs. All right, if we don't have any power, we know this the water company cannot pump water to us. But what I'm wondering is if we have lots of milk jugs filled with water that are maybe not suitable for drinking, can you use your toilet and flush it with a gallon of water? Or will it back up because there's no power on to run the pumps that would pump it on through? This I do not know. <laughs> it's a terrible subject, but like I put in my comment, maybe many people aren't even thinking about this, and it could end up being a real nightmare. And with a little proper planning, if we know the information, let's just say we can't pour a gallon of water in a toilet and flush it down. What are we going to do? I got to thinking. If you can afford it, maybe get a big old box of adult diapers. Or even the largest size of child diapers. Use them as needed. They turn to gel something in there that the moisture turns them into gel and then you can just roll them up put them in a trash bag a small trash bag and put them in a bigger trash bag it's just something to think about um, how you want to handle that so it doesn't so all this stuff doesn't get on your nerves too much course you know anybody that has to go through it you want to trust in the Lord completely you're just gonna have to pray a lot trust in the Lord with all your heart lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. He did say in one message to someone that he will be your generator if you just call upon him in the days of darkness. I like the sound of that. I can just see him doing that. Oh, exactly what he means by that I don't know but I just think you should all sit down and think about everything you do all day long and how are you gonna do it differently with no power and no lights for three days. Um, you really do need to stock up on water, canned goods. Canned beans are not bad, I, right out of the can. I had so many stocked up, I had to start eating them. Because they were going to go bad. Now I don't have any. I, and I don't shop for myself anymore. I'd like to try to find a way to get some. But anyway, I'll worry about that. I'd like for you all 
to plan if you make it in the barley harvest rapture wonderful yay that's what I'm planning but as we keep saying whatever we leave behind the Lord is going to lead people to it because our money is probably going to be worthless when the three days of darkness is over probably aren't going to be able to run to the bank and buy get some money or go to the store use your debit card and buy food maybe you can for a day or two but those shelves will empty real quick anyway it's just something to think about and it's past time well past time for everybody to can to be stocking up and that's basically all I wanted to say after hearing Reverend Mary's video and leaving that comment on that I got to thinking I should do a video of my own and I'm praying each and every one of you will make it in the first rapture be repenting stay loving keep God first all through the day and Anything you think he wants you to do, you do it. Anything you think he doesn't want you to do, don't do it. Let's just all do our best. And keep looking up. Stay encouraged. Because I do think we're in the final stretch. We're in the last lap of the race. I can hardly wait to meet you all. Most of all, I can hardly wait to meet our Savior. It's going to be so wonderful. So, if you're not sure, please consider skipping anything unnecessary and go stock up. Do it tomorrow. Okay? I love you. And I look forward to meeting you soon. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. The internet connection. And over each and every one of you as well. Okay, good night. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.